Hey guys, I'm Nito King, and last time on Space Quest V, lots of excitement. We got to explore the ruins of the colony at Clorox II, only to discover that all the colonists had turned into pukoid mutants. They've managed to make their way to the Goliath, and turn the crew there into mutants as well. The only survivor was Ambassador Wankmeister, who we rescued at the last minute on Thracus. But she was shot as well, and is turning into a mutant herself. So we put her in on ice until we can find a solution. And the only place to go for that would be the lab on genetics where the primordial soup was manufactured. So I suppose we better not waste any more time getting there. Any diversion could cost Ambassador Whitemeister her humanity. I'm glad the crew are always prepared for anything. That music doesn't sound good. Alright, we're under attack, so saving is our first priority, and now what do we do? That's so helpful. Well, somebody's gotta have a sol wait, wait a second, I know. We've got a cloaking device. We can cloak the ship and hide. Your laziness has killed us all, Cliffy! Alright. So, Cliffy can't help. Sitting here is doing something. I'm watching. There's somewhere out there. I can feel it. Just taunting us. Waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Taking absolutely forever. There we go. I guess it's a big ship, so it takes a long time to turn around and get lined up for another shot or something. I'm gonna die from boredom. Come on, shoot me out of the sky already. Finally. Uh, what? Yeah, the game just kind of froze up there, so let's pretend that we didn't do that and start by raising our shields. So now we should be adequately protected. Maybe we can get their attention and ask them what's going on. Yeah, or maybe they just don't want to talk to us. Yeah, having your shields up doesn't change this part at all. But at least we presumably took less damage. I don't know if the ship's got an HP meter on it or something. Hmm. And now let's not save. I just want to see what happens if they shoot us while the shields are up.
Even sped up, this part takes forever. And this time we survive. That's the only difference I can see. You, you get nothing else from raising your shields. But how much more can we take? I mean, we're gonna die eventually anyway, right? I know who knows. Alright, so... Eventually, presumably, I'll die even with the shields up. So I suppose we'd better do something to avoid getting shot at again. What you got for us, Helmsman? Ah, evasive action. Perfect. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't think we want to go into the asteroid field. Hey, there's an idea. Let's fight back. Alright. Plan B. Uh, uh oh. They're lining up again. That's not good. Let's get back to that evasive action idea. They're lining up again? They just lined up a few seconds ago. See, I told you their comms were working. For a second there, I thought something bad was going to happen. I can't think of anyone else who that would have been. That's it. Something! Now see, there's a more sensible suggestion. Rescue! I'll have to ask my chief engineer what... Oh yeah, that's right, he's outside. Alright, let's get out there and rescue Cliffy. You may remember the EVA pod was downstairs, but for 
some reason it didn't seem to respond when I clicked on the elevator control. And that's not going to do me any good. Alright, now like I said before, I was saving the pod rotation button for when it was actually useful, and it's useful. Of course, this mission is very dangerous, you should always save before attempting this. Remember what happens in Final Fantasy VIII if you screw up the Outer Space Rescue mission. You don't want that. Alright, so here we are in the cockpit, and my fuel is looking good. Oxygen... not so good. But okay, we have very little time here. Okay, I'm gonna get back to the ship. I can't find it. So... Completely out of oxygen now. Let's uh, see about rescuing Cliffy while we're at it. There he is. Just bring the claw out here. What's that beeping? Ah. Yeah, I accidentally clicked at exactly the time that this message came up, so what you're looking at is a loop of the one frame where this text appeared. Alright, listen to my science officer. I don't recall her actually saying anything, but I suppose they have a good point. We should have asked her opinion before going out on this time-critical mission. Hey, WD-40. I'm out there not rescuing Cliffy. These are matters of utmost importance, I'm sure. How's Cliffy doing? Any ideas what we should do? Alright, I suppose I'm going to have to talk to her from the captain's chair in order to have any authority to throw around. Okay, what do I do? To her credit, that is the most specific plan yet. Oh, there we go. Make sure all the systems are fully charged before we set out, like oxygen. Chief Crawford? Wasn't that the, the Night Watchman from Pinwheel? Or not, not Pinwheel. What the hell? The Today's Special. That was it. I, I don't know my kids' shows. Well, what can I say? I can barely remember the episode of Doctor Who that I watched about an hour ago. Something to do with spaceships and captains and people quarreling over who had authority. Haven't seen anything like that recently. Okay, so we need to examine the pod and see what the oxygen situation is. Yeah, but how much oxygen does it have? I need to know this so I know whether it's safe to go out there. Oh well. The oxygen tank is over here, as I showed in the second video. 
And as long as we have it, who cares how much oxygen the pod itself has. So now I've actually got time to do stuff. What you need to do is look at the radar in the center of the panel there. The red dot represents Cliffy. And the left lever, of course, is our movement lever. Just put yourself right in front of him. And then go to the right lever to pull out the claw. And now, just like the crane games back home, it's impossible to grab anything. So, I guess I'm not in the right place. But, how do I know? Let's see, uh, left a little... Oh, there we go. Use the computer, Roger. That's what it's there for, telling you what to do. And finding your way back to the Eureka is nice and simple. That's the green dot. But for some reason it doesn't show up until you actually get close. When you could see that being a puzzle if maybe you accidentally turned on the cloaking device before you left. No! But you can't do that. That's what she said. Anyway. Might as well swing the pot around and... I really want to know, is there a way you can tell this thing is low on oxygen? Other than going out there and dying from it. Nothing that I can tell. And I tried the monitor up there, I've tried looking at that tank in the corner. Nothing. Oh, walk it off, soldier. Whatever. Oh, one other thing I have to try. Translation. The animators were too lazy to come up with an animation for Cliffy getting sucked out the airlock. But okay, all the crises have been dealt with. We escaped from the Goliath, we rescued Cliffy. I think it's about high time we get back to that genetics lab search, don't you? I mean, that's what we've been doing the whole episode. I wonder, do we have any orders to cover the situation? So there's your hint if you didn't find the primordial soup can on Clorox 2 that you need to go back there and look for it. Since we've already got the coordinates, we don't care. And she's sexy. Is it 1.21 terawatts? Oh well, just means we're not going to be able to get any backup. 
What's going on with you, Drool? Oh, that's a good idea. Let's try and stop the Goliath. And this is a veiled hint to go back to Kiz Your Ass Goodbye and get the cloaking device if you don't already have it. We probably be vaporized, right. Yep, that was my plan all along. So, all things considered, what are our chances? I like those odds. Let's go for it. It's time to put in the only space coordinates that this game will actually hand to you without you having to look them up on a chart. And it's that easy to get out of the asteroid field. You're just gonna slide sideways. Why didn't we do that before? Really, I don't think anybody's thinking about these things. Yeah, she doesn't have anything new to say. Uh, somebody's got to have something new. Yeah, trying to get her to say one of the uh, Easter eggs in the status report when things aren't all perfectly functioning, but nothing. And the ship's back to normal again. At least he does fast work. And just in time to arrive at our destination. There it is. Alright, and the first thing we do when we arrive anywhere... Let's scan it. Hmm. Well, she says it's an Envirodome, so it should be safe. What do we do? And the soup can I found earlier indicates a 100% probability that it's a research lab. Alright, we're done with you. Let's get on with this away team. And nobody volunteers to come with me this time. Kind of disappointed. I thought we were all getting along so well, but this time they're sending me off into danger on my own. Ooh, another transport Easter egg. Yeah, there are 
are some zany transporter blooper pictures in the Galactic Inquirer which comes with the game and has the star chart information, but hey, where's, where's the body going? No, I'm a fly. I can't do anything much. All I can do is fly, and I can still look, and apparently I can talk. And most importantly, I can still save the game. Better do that. Because there's a lot of dangerous stuff around here. Too close indeed. Uh, ah. Yep, this place is full of danger, especially now that I'm trapped as a fly. I know it wasn't exactly what you guys were picturing, but this is how we're going to be exploring the genetics laboratory and hopefully finding a way to fix Beatrice and, heck, fix me next time. <laughs>